So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the chat feature in Google Meet. It can be used for chatting, it can be used for sharing links, uh, and in this case what I'm going to show you can be used for collaborating. This is a pretty neat way of using the chat feature. So uh, first off, I'm in a Google Meet right now. Um, I've got a computer over here, all right, and they are logged into the Google Meet, or that is logged into the Google Meet as a second person, so there's two in here. Okay, so I'm the teacher now, and um, up here in the top right you'll notice this. That little discussion bubble and that is where you can message people so you can send a students or send students a message okay um, I'll just say hello okay and then students now I'm gonna go over on this computer here I'll type the same thing hello and now you can see in instantly in real time you can see that message there so that's pretty neat just another way that you can um, uh, communicate with students using Google Meet now that can be used for a lot more though than just saying hello, okay? <laughs> so let's uh, show you an example of that. So um, one thing that I, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see a lot of this, something that I like to call Goolaboration, which is collaborating with Google products. So um, here's an example of it. So if you go to Google Drawings, you can just type in drawings.google.com, okay? Um, what we can do now is we can do um, like a collaborative canvas, okay? So we're going to call this one Vietnam. Uh, I'm going to be doing Vietnam here pretty soon. And what you could tell students is, okay, um, you need to uh, um, insert a picture that exemplifies the Vietnam era, something that uh, really describes that era or sums it up, okay? So you, you tell students that on Google Meet, um, and then you'd make them do it with this drawing. So now first, uh, you got to always make sure with your sharing settings. Okay, click on share, then go to advanced. You want to make sure that the settings are uh, proper so people can edit it. Right now it's private. We're going to click to change that. Anyone with the link. And then you have to click on, make sure to click on, can edit. Okay, then that means they can edit this. All right. And then what I'm going to do here is I am going to copy that link that's in there now. Go back to my Google Meet. I'm down here. I pasted it in. And send it okay so now I've sent it over on my other computer here I'm gonna click on it all right and I can tell you right now I can see it now the students could put something in like a picture here and I'll show you how that would work and what you will see here really soon is this picture ah there it is okay so students put that picture in there now, you know, as I'm looking at this, you might want to ask the student, okay, describe your picture, okay? And you could even tell them that after the fact. You don't have to have everything, per all the instructions perfect at the beginning. Once you see the picture, you'd be like, you know what? I want you to add something to it. Tell me why you add that picture, okay? All right, lots of depressed soldiers they could put. This is kind of a depressing topic here. I didn't mean it to be like that. Okay, it's the, just the picture that I could find, the first one I could find. Okay, but now um, what you now have done is done a collaborative project. So now what would happen here is that you'd have multiple pictures in here with multiple students putting in pictures. And you'd see the students kind of rack up up top here. With each student that comes in, you'll see their little circle that will show up there. Um, and they can all put pictures in there. All right, and then you can view it as a teacher. Easy way to do a collaborative project using Google Meet and Google Drawings. Give it a try. Good luck.